Campbell. Good day. You're very welcome to No Blasters with me, Kieran Bartlett. Today, I will be riding Paddy McDonald sideways on FIFA, of course I will. And I'll be doing that with a freshly trimmed bush area because Manscaped have been in touch to sponsor this podcast. So Manscaped are offering uh, my viewers and my listeners 20% off the performance package, which includes the new Lawnmower 4.0, which is like a fucking scalpel to your pubes like basically manscaped have looked at me and thought he looks amish he must know pubes i've been to more barn raisins than i'd care to admit but basically in this performance package you get the lawnmower which is unbelievable you also i mean if you're a guy like me where like you've actually tried to bick the bag at some stage this is this is a lifesaver and a a skin saver speaking of which with new skin safe technology swish swish uh you'll be able to just lawnmower your balls it's very enjoyable uh you also get like ball wipes which i've definitely used definitely used got them for christmas from my wife don't know what that means is it a is it a present is is it a warning we don't know uh (laughs) so if you go on to the website and you use the code no blasters all one word by the way you get uh 20 percent off and free shipping so that's great times uh they also have a thing called weed whacker you know when you get to be a certain age and your nose and ears start to sort of get clogged up like fucking hillary clinton's emails this is like a good wee way of clearing that out okay it's like sort of deleting all all those all those awful emails that definitely would have put her in jail it's like that except for your nose and ears so that's good um there's also a ball toner which uh not to be confused with mike's mate paul toner um and it's it sort of, you know when you shave your bag and it kind of looks like a wee mole that's come out too early out of hibernation? And this sort of makes it look like it came out at the right time. So again, go to manscaped.com, 20% off when you use the code no blasters. I hope I've done a minute. We don't know. Have I done a minute? Enjoy it. Use that code. Get me sponsored more regularly. So as ever on no blasters, we're going to pick a teams using the randomize. So the way we do this is we'll both pick the league together we can each say no once to the league and then when you pick your team we'll we'll take teams from the same league and when we randomize the teams that are in the league you can pick you can do it three times to get like to try to gamble on getting a better team right it'll all become clear three in total or three in total you're going to lead me in this process i'll I'll lead you in it right so we'll randomize the league the the dutch uh women's no uh Portugal, do you want to stay in Portugal or do you want to switch it up? Fuck it, we'll go again. All right, this is it. Netherlands, mate. So you change your move up and change your uh, your league to Netherlands. It's, you could get decent teams here. You could get Eindhoven or Ajax or something. Um, and then with this, you hit X then the random once you get the Netherlands. Um, move down then. And then if you hit X, if you don't want to be AZ Alkmaar, hit X and you can see who you get. How many times can you do it? Three. So, so I'm changing once. again. Yeah. Twice. Oh, Jesus. I, I, so now we'll have to be whoever we land on now if you're changing it. I'm changing mine. Oh, mate. I don't even know how you say Rack, that. Rack a dick, walk a dick. I know, mate. <laughs> and I'm, I'm a Heracles Amalino. That's like, what's the, what's the capital of Iceland? Rack your dick? Rackadick. <laughs> <laughs> Rack That's funny. I don't even know who the fuck they are. I've never heard of them. RKC Valvec. Valvec. Valvec sounds like something Val- you take for a bad back after Val- a road traffic collision, doesn't it? Val- <laughs> Valvec sounds like a complete smick asking for a bottle of Valvec. <laughs> Patrick, did you take breakfast with your Valvec? <laughs> It says in the box, oh, you, can't eat it. you can't eat it, with, you can't take it without taking something to eat to wreck your stomach. <laughs> and then you've got Heracles Almelo, which sounds like a fucking, Almelo sounds like something tasty and sweet. To it me. does. Sounds like something that some cunt would come up with in Castle Street in a restaurant, which will close down within three months because it doesn't do fries after I was, 11 o'clock. I was, I was talking about Castle Street the other day. Do you remember there used to be like a proper, like nice good market in Castle Street and it's fucking gone now. Do you remember it used to be like a market? A marketplace in a sense where oh, like people like with stalls. stalls and all that. Yeah, like, and but you then, could get like cheap socks or like fruit and all. Yeah, but 
obviously with the IRA closing down and, and decommissioning, that market was I, gone. I thought that was, I thought that it went because the council were like, let's clean up Castle Street. Right, see Castle Street, it's a fucking real mad situation about it, do you know right. that? no. There was a local pub chain that, uh, so a family that had pubs in West Belfast. Right started buying up all the properties at the top right, of Castle okay. Street, right? Like all those bars and all that are sitting there? Yes. And their plan was to put like a real proper artisan hotel in Castle Street for the market solely of tourism because that's the f the start of the Falls Road. Right, okay. So that this big plan of submitted, the, they needed all the buildings. Right. And basically they started trying to intimidate all their people that wouldn't sell the buildings to sell up. And then it went all per ship full. <laughs> it went per so, ship, so and then I had to take the purse all the It's nice. It, and see, my dad, my dad's a roofer. He wouldn't, it's like walking in the town, my dad walks on the road. Because he says every building in the town, like, there's stuff just hanging off the fucking roof. Oh, man. It's mate. really bad. Like, he says, it hard nobody's died yet from a fucking slit or a fucking Jesus. whack, a fucking tail coming off somewhere in the town. It's I, uh... I used to love Castle Street, like whenever, because like my dad would have taken us down to get her hair cut in King Street and Robbie McGuire's. And then, do you remember Robbie's? It was like it was an old barber's that had just like it had like a, a, a they were they were like a boxing family, so mm -hmm. there was like a rich boxing heritage of like the Full posters of like Barry McGuigan and all when he was like just breaking through and box it Ray Close and boxers like that. And then uh, there was there was the titty wall, which was just like a wall of like tit postcards that people sent in from all over the world, and um, and when you were like you know eight and nine, you're like looking at it going, what the fuck, right? And the, the we do things where we turn around to like me and my brothers go, which one is the smartest? And so, you know everybody goes me, and whoever's first, they go right here, where I get his coffees out of <laughs> shop, out of forties, and then uh, or forties, and then uh, the fucking. Uh, like, my dad would have taken us there, and then we would have walked down Castle Street through the market, and then round to, like, Leisure World to, like, look at all the toys and all, and then we'd go in the, uh, the model shop and look at all the, the wee models, shop. and sometimes we'd have got wee models. Yeah, I forgot about the model I, shop. I used to love in there. It was amazing. Like, it was, like, orgasmic as a kid, well, looking it, in the window. It was class. Just like, oh all, God, all, the, all the wee dioramas. Proper fucking... I forgot about the model uh, shop. It's gone, it's I always talk about Leisure World, but I have to say the model shop was the one that I... They were sort of beside each other. Near, well, they were near yeah. each other, and yeah, then the model shop moved further down. And that's all. And then do you remember the, the cobbler shop on the corner with the wee man? The wee fucking wee dude and all I fucking remember him. I tried to steal him before. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, like, it oh was like my a God. bet amongst my mates to see who could take the most random thing, and I wanted him. If, mate, I actually almost wish you'd gotten that. Cause mate, that if I had have got that, I reckon there'd have been a mural put up. <laughs> I do, like, it was like the, the holy grail of getting stuff. It was. That would have been amazing. If you if you press A, we'll move on. I just I just miss the I'm gonna go white if you wanna take a darker kit there. I'm gonna go white too. Don't be a wee dick. Alright, good. So Did you ever play like these games with one of your mates who was like that, who was a prick? I'm yeah, definitely. Uh, I think we had Dave on a couple of episodes ago. So the there's there's I love my sponsor, Willie. Willie Willie Nassens. Willie Nassens. Sounds like something. And I'm a sit though. A Belfast business sponsoring a Dutch football team. Mike, it was uh, called serious. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know any of these fucking players at all. Occasionally, you'll go through the the subs and there'll be somebody. I feel like bringing this guy on to my bench because he's named after Agent Mulder from fucking X-Files. I don't know any of these. Ones. When you don't know any of the players. Does it automatically put the best players on? It'll put on whatever their actual starting 11 was last week. Um, I didn't think it was that. It's pretty good, like, pretty up to date. I'm going to just stick with the formation and all, because fuck knows what these things are going to be like. Well, I'm not going to be any good, so you don't need to. Just press B then if, B. You're, if you're ready. So, let's do. Um, so, have you any gigs coming up that you want to talk about? Fuck all. There's nothing I can even say about. When's this go out? In about, fuck, in about, and not for about an hour. Yeah, about six or seven months away. What the fuck's the point of talking about it? Um, I've won it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? This was filmed like in 1998. He's already seen it now. <laughs> um, I have the waterfront hall, but hopefully I'm sold out by now. 
Unreal. So what uh what is your FIFA experience then? Ninety eight. FIFA, FIFA ninety eight is like Good literally. Year. I would have been one of the first ones then on ah, the PlayStation. It was like, it? So I genuinely <sighs> I genuinely hate these games because I have a fifteen year old that squeals all over the house. I remember calling his mates Fridge Fuck sick. I played uh your Potter g- a game of FIFA one time at your house years ago and he was only he could only have been about fucking eight or nine and he was already a formidable fucking player on it like he was very good like um i also remember one time he came over and we were playing football at the pc years ago and again he was only he was even younger he's only about six or seven he was like do you want to fight me he's like still a wee fucker he's not funny at all <laughs> He's not funny he's at not. all. I would look over to him, he's funny, but he's just cheeky. <laughs> How many kids have you got now? Enough to... <laughs> enough? enough that's, that's amazing. <laughs> enough to put you off having kids. I always used to say, I'm going to have a football team. And then uh, it's like... You're stopping with a basketball starting five. Oh, mate, it? it's just... It's a struggle. Is it hectic? Or? It's got the stage where me and Andre... Do you know me? No, you would be married for that long and just start sort of fizzling out. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, oh, do you know no. what I mean? Like, it's sort of like. I don't, I've only been no, married for about t- fucking eight months or something. Oh, well, then you don't know. Like, it gets to the stage, like, where, you know, you forget that you, you need to look after the person or do stuff for them or, do you know what I mean? It, just, it just gets to that stage where it's like, you're a member of my family. You're not somebody and I'm <gasps> meeting and excited about meeting anymore. No, do you know what I mean? Jeez. It's just like, it. You still love them, but it's just like I would. I would imagine it becomes it's stagnant. It, it becomes a wee bit stagnant and stuff, right? <laughs> These additives are fucking brutal. But <laughs> we're stuck. Covid to... sort of like we have a genuine connection now because we both hate the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm actually having trouble breathing. You can't. But you know what I mean, don't you? It's well, like sort of, but not it's really. Like, yeah. We're looking at each other going, they're comps, aren't they? And you know what I mean? Just because they're hard work or it's hard work, man. It, it's hard work. It, it's 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 they're not bad kids, it's just hard work. It, I would imagine it's I mean uh, how Andre done it, like without genuinely throwing herself off a cliff. I don't know. Because I've often wondered this about my man dad, right? There was eight kids in our house, like and when I was born that was Eight, was eight, there, of yous? eight of us, and there was eight of us. Did they dab some or something? No, just flat out with the fucking dab bar. That's you know, super Oli- sperm. Ol- Olympic sperm, like um. You just mean like spider man? So fucking <laughs> throwing it in. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so like, it's it's uh, like I think when when I was born, that would have been eight of us under sixteen. Mental. You know what I mean? So I sort of go... No wonder you drove a ladder. I was going to say, I know, mate, the ladder, and I was talking earlier, I was talking on a previous episode about the fucking, the B-team minibus, but um, the, the fucking, what do you call it? Like, I often wonder, presumably with that many people, and even like, have you you four or five now, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Um, Like, with that, with that many people, presumably even if like, two or three of them could be fucking totally fine. And nothing going on with them on a particular day, but the other ones will have something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Must just get to be. It's it, it does. Like. I tell you what, our youngest is the maddest of really? the fucking house. She looks like Patty the Patty, the UFC fighter. Finish. Sorry. So she did. She what? Genuinely she looks like Patty the Patty, Patty the UFC what's fighter. What's Patty Pimblet? And all she does is strip and fight. So if the, <laughs> if she doesn't go in, if she doesn't go in, like the the child at four, Blanet is absolutely terrified of her. Like, where if she comes into the room with everything off, she knows shit's about to go down. <laughs> the line, all she does is strip and fight. That's fucking... It's just oh, nuts. Real? It's just... She, she's the modest of the whole... Really? Are. She, she terrifies you. She, she comes at you and she's two and she terrifies you. Jesus. You just go to yourself, what's going to happen here? See, I... Apparently, I was a nightmare in terms of, like, uh, I would never sleep. Uh... And then I would also be not much would, change. Then I know I would. It, it was like I would never sleep. And then if somebody was like sitting with me, 
And then the thought I was sleeping when they would go to leave me, I'd be like, Wake where up, you, go, where are you going, you dick? Oh. You know? Um, Spoiled bastards. And I am sort of still like that a wee bit. Is it? I, I definitely... I th- I th- Were you the blue eye? No. Who was Ke- the blue eye? Kev. Kev. Kev is golden balls, I think. Right. He'll, 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 he'll deny he'll tell it. me. But golden balls will deny it. Go, but yeah. in, uh, Who was the golden balls in your house? Me. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't deny it because my mad genuinely would just tell you. Aye. Uh, do you know what I mean? I was the sickest when I was born. Right. And I was in the hospital the longest. And he and everything kept happening to me. So, I, <laughs> do you know I, what I mean? These are, these are like we amazing we truths. Oh, your caper's shit, by the way. I'm shit. It's no, you, no, I caper. was your caper, mate. That was like right at him. I was, I actually can't believe how shit he is. I'm sorry that we're playing these fucking teams. But, uh, I don't even know who that is. Oh, sorry. I don't even know who the fuck. Yeah, sorry, I need to stop cancelling the replay. That's like a, a fucking reflex of mine. Um, let's see a shit. This went straight at your goalie and he fucked you, mate. Watch. Come on, keeper. If, I, if your mate did that... He park, looks he like someone... That keeper actually looks like... No when the fucking... The main keeper gets sent off and there's no subs left. Yep, yep. And he's like... Oh. An outfielder has to fucking jump in. Yep. He looks like... He looks like some cunt that wouldn't have picked to play football, but you had to pick him. <laughs> And he played it, and you're like, "Will you fucking put he, yourself behind he, the ball? Oh, yeah, it's coming he, really fast." He's, he's only our. Do you know he, what I mean? He's only our because his dad's a fucking assistant manager. His dad, his dad has the mini bus. <laughs> <laughs> you only get on because your dad has a mini bus. <laughs> Do you know genuinely what happened one time? Our football coach when we were kids was a drinker, right? So you had to go and get him in the false park sometimes. So is that, I was going to say, is that the position? His name was played? called Gosser, right? Gosser, Gosser, Gossmeter, because his first oh name was God. Peter. Right. So we got Gosser, right? But he used to drink in the park. And, like, no way you watch some films sometimes. There's, like, a coach and he's drunk and you go, ha, ha, ha. Like, as if that really, uh, that genuinely. Oh, my God. Was us. And we were to play a match one Saturday. And he didn't turn up. And we went and got a fella who had a minibus who lived in Moyard called Fenton. Moyard. To come, to come and take us to the game. And when we got there, they were like, these can't play. These don't have a coach. And we were like, Fenton, I'll do coach. And the fella was like, and he just stood there. Like, it was just, do you know, Kev we once, organized our own football. Kev once uh, uh, was uh, taking a football team when he was a teacher. And uh, he he was, re- you know, those times where one of the coaches just refs the game. Mm-hmm. And Kev was refing the game and he disallowed a goal for offside, but the ball came from a throw in. He didn't even know that was a fucking rule. Do you know what I mean? You can't be offside from a throw. Um, and everybody was freaking out. Yeah, kids are going, what the fuck, sir? You've, like, he, and he, the goalie cancelled was for his own team. Um, <laughs> I see that line, though. I was the sickest, so I sort of get that, that that might be why you... Oh, mate, what have you done to yourself? That might be... I mean, I'm ruthless. I am a fox just This doesn't the bother box. me because I keep telling my wee lot, this is like on a fucking screen. I know. It doesn't help but that's you what, that's what people. It doesn't pay the mortgage. So that's this, what people... Mate, it's paying mine. This is... This is <laughs> what's this paying is what your mortgage playing, playing for? Mate, this whole setup, like, do you know what I mean? This, I'm getting EA sponsorship soon. I'm not, but I would love it. Um, But, uh, yeah, the... The, what do you call it? Uh, I can't remember what the fuck I was on with her. The sickest. Um, oh, well, you were saying you were the sickest. And I'm sort of like, I will, I can see why your ma would sort of, you know, I make sure the blue eye. But then when you just said the phrase, but everything kept happening to me. <laughs> such a great, that's such a funny I am, but it's, funny it's, it's like people go to me, how the fuck did all that? It still happens. Do you know, if yeah. stuff's going to happen, it happens it, it, to me. And you've mean. experienced that. I have. You, been, you've I been there and you've, it's just one. I'm just one of them people. A shit magnet. Yeah, basically. And and do you know it? what? The more negative you are, the worse it gets. <laughs> so you genuinely have you to have, have to like try and be positive. Yeah, and just go right. This is what's going to happen. This is what you need to do, and and get on with fucking life. Uh, and and you just hope that it just doesn't go that bad. Whereas your fuck, I yeah. I totally kept that in there. Like, you yeah, do. Fuck. Ref says no. Ulster. Um. It's a ref called Ulster. Somebody, oh mate! And then he pulls off a save. He, he did pull off an amazing save. He lo- on real her from. He looks like he should be on queer eye. Do you know what? In fairness, it wasn't even a good save. He was actually trying to get away from the ball. <laughs> Cockhead. I really just 
I'm getting nowhere here like very quickly. I'm trying to do stuff and this wee football team's going, what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously, mate? I have no, I'm hitting buttons here. So you did the Ulster Hall then? Yeah. When was that? November. How'd it go? Mate, everybody seemed to enjoy it. I, I just didn't enjoy it as much as everybody else. Really? Yeah. How come? I just think it's that big of a room and the ceiling's that high. I just didn't get the feeling that I like to get. It's a it's There's a, a certain feeling room. I like to get. That, uh, does that make me a sport bastard? No, no, it doesn't. Does it, it, make, doesn't it doesn't. But yeah. everybody was like, no, I really enjoyed it. One of my mates uh, came to a gig and was drinking from 12 o'clock that day and fell asleep and loads of people took pictures of it. So I'd, I'd probably done my balls uh, in a wee bit because people go, look, your mate fell asleep at the gig. <coughs> it's a pretty good advertisement. He, it's because he was fucked though, eh? And he also done too long. Um, Why, how long did you end up doing? I think an hour and fucking a half or something. Mm, I don't mind that, mate. I know, but to be honest you want with it you, to just be a bit tired. Yeah, yeah. I think that's okay though. I mean, I, I, I don't, it, it's perhaps... Well, people got their money's worth, but... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's perhaps stupid to, you know, com- compare you know, compare anybody to Billy Conley, but when you go see Billy Conley, when he was gigging, he would do like two hours. He would do two hours straight through, no break, no support, just two hours. And it said that in big signs whenever last time I went to see him, it said that. Do you know what I mean? I, I, think, if, I think if people are into it and they're there, I don't think yeah, nobody, no, I don't, nobody, will nobody be, turned nobody around and oh, that was too long. But Bye. It was more me, you know, I was sort I of going, mean, yeah. should I be on for an hour and a half? Because I, I go, why should somebody have to listen See, to me for an hour and a half? I know what you mean. I, but I, I, I sometimes think that... I try and be a wee bit more professional that way. Yeah, I think that that and, like, not really loving the the height of the room, things like that, that doesn't make you, like, a dick about it. That just makes you professional that you care about it, like... So when you care about the experience that people are having when they come to see you. But genuinely, if you put me in a wee small room with 20 people, I, I love the atmosphere. I know. I, I just, I thrive off that wee bit more. Yeah. That's kind of what I like about, uh, like, pugs and laveries, is, like, the actual ro- the actual shapes of those rooms. Why did he group. kick out like a girl? <laughs> now, Paddy, like, you no, know. No, but it, seriously. Some brilliant female footballers these days. Looking? Yeah. He said, he said... Some, Cunningly. some real nice ones. I watched the football match. There's a girl plays for Aston Villa. She's quite good. <laughs> I see what you've done there. <laughs> She's quite good. I would watch. I would buy a season ticket if she was in my team. If see if she was playing for Clinton ladies, I would start supporting them. Clinton would you support her if she was playing for Clinton ladies? But mate, I would sing the size. <laughs> I would sign. I would. S- Let's just say everything was standing for God's sake of a queen when I watched it. Unbelievable. There's no male players do that to me. A, a very, she was, she, like, Ronald Dino was a very close second. Till, till, he's the only male footballer. Him and Henry Larson are probably the only two males that I've ever got a Sammy Hart on to. What about George, George Cadet? Like, he's George, Cadet. Him, George Cadet. Ach, he was good, but he wasn't. Fu- uh. I mean, Ronald Dino, of all the people I've watched live, have you seen him live, eh? Yes. Was this when he was he playing? Who was he playing Barcelona. against? Barcelona. Celtic. Genuinely, the ball came in and he played basketball under his feet. That's mad. Though. Put the ball through three players' legs and then played basketball again. And how he done it physically, I don't know. With studs, Aye. but like done three taps on that foot, three taps on that foot, and I'm like, why is this footage not just replayed over yeah. and over? And they just go, do you know what? Close football stadium. I know he it's was... completed. <coughs> It's completed. There's he, nobody. He, he was amazing. Uh, uh, the be- I've seen Messi. I've seen Ronaldo. I've seen Zidane. Um, it's all, all against Celtic, huh? Yeah. I, I also didn't just go to watch them. Like I would have went no. to United matches and stuff Aye. like that too. And also going over to England and stuff. You would have got a few games. You would have seen players. I seen Andy Cole before he played for. <sighs> I was nearly a screamer, mate. Andy Cole before he even played for United. Yeah. Yeah. And he was phenomenal. Good player. He, he was a good player. Do you remember uh, when he scored four against the switch for United? That was fucking great times. Did they win 9-0? Like I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that time they won 9-0. That time he scored four. Um, it's time for the Biscuit World Cup. We were discussing this. Mm-hmm. You're, you're off biscuits. Let, I'll eat a half of one. How's that? Right. Well, do you want to just take a wee bit, even of each? I mean, yes. So we're on. Today we'll have the big hitters. My kids love them. I'm going to let you take a pack of home for them. No, uh, fuck them. We don't deserve it. 
I enjoy this. Enjoy with milk or sparkle water. Um, the humble Oreo, mate. I think these are one of the most overrated biscuits of all time. Oh well, yeah, me too. I don't get it. They're really over. I hate when people are like, "Oh, it's oh, Oreo, it's Oreo flavored like, ice cream, or it's Oreo flavored." And I'm going, they, they, they're a bit charcoaly or something. I think to they me. are. Yeah, uh, they, make your t- they make your teeth. But I think that's American stuff. It, it is. It's it, not great. I look at stuff like this and go, "American shit." Hyped up, yep. bollocks. Yeah, is the West Belfast term? Of they it? are overhyped, but let's see. It has a weird. It smell. It smells like a diabetic's breath. Do you know what I mean? It's not. It's a. It's I've a weird worse, sweetness. Let's just say. What? <laughs> I've licked worse. <laughs> They're eatable. They are eatable, but if it was in a biscuit buffet, would I lift them? I no, like when you went to China, China, you didn't really like prawn toast, but you fucking threw two on it because you paid for a mm. fucking full plate. You paid for all you can. And eat, if you yeah. had it, you had it. You didn't. You didn't. I don't know what I make of these. I mean, it's it's a five out of ten for me. Well, you say it's a World Cup. What would you give it out of ten? Three. But if they were playing England, they were giving me it. Do you know what I mean? Dar- Darren is nicer about things than I am, mm-hmm. and I think you're even more exacting than I am. Mm. I remember there's been times where we've disagreed heavily over what where's a decent place for food, like. Yeah, you know. I remember. I tried to tell here's, you. I tried to tell you the fast. It was nice. Here's and how it goes. Here's how it goes. See if you judge your food and what foods like in a certain place by the fucking scores on the doors. You're not gonna <laughs> find these places because <laughs> I know places that are sparkling clean, right? Yeah, and they're fucking rotten. No, that's true. That is true. But I don't. Think, I don't think you can get anything great out of a one. <laughs> out of a one. Out of five. But why did it get a one? You need to ask these questions. See, see, if it gets a three or four, that's because like, you know, all they've only got like one sink or the toilet's too close to the kitchen or something. Something that they can't. Do you know, really Batika got a one because of the chef. I imagine it was because the yeah. chef was he putting his fucking dick in the house sauce because there must be, there must be doing. Well, something. let me just say, see if he is doing that. Keep doing it. <laughs> No matter who I took her for a kebab, and I mean comedy acts even coming from England, coming from to, the south. To be fair, right? They fucking loved it. To be fair, though, I've never had a kebab. That's a true story. I, I can't Because they're cope. like a dirty thing. They are like a dirty thing. Oh, no, but that thing. doesn't mean it needs to have dirt on it. Do you no, know what I mean? 100%. Here's a pick up a penguin. Do you know what? Do they still do the joke? Probably, probably one of my favourite biscuits. Mate, McVitie's are absolutely But do you remember they always used to do different colour wrappers around them? Yeah. Are they all red? The blue ones weren't allowed to be at in our house. I mean, we were forbidden from listening to Michael Jackson and Madonna. But like, like, you weren't allowed blue penguins. And blue wagon wheels came out and they were red, white and blue. And were the nicest We never, We never got the blue wagon wheels. Oh, mate. See, when I phoned them, my dad would go nuts. My dad... It's fucking what's weird your, about What's colours? your penguins joke? What about? No, like on the back. <laughs> I wasn't meaning to do a bit. It's like, do you want me to read a joke about a penguin here? Bec- oh, right. So that's the answer. Why are penguins good racing car drivers? I don't know. Think of it. I don't know. Would you have got this? Yeah. Go. Cool. Because they're always in pole position. That hurts me. Um, I was gonna say that was there was only two jokes that could have made there. Why was the other one? The other one could have been about a flappy gearbox pedals, but I mean, <laughs> do you know what I mean? That was a wee Mine bit. Is two. How, how do penguins get around? This is bollocks, like <laughs> on a bicycle. That hurts me. Don't have Some can't compare that. A wee penguin. <laughs> Some cunt got paid for that gospel. Let's see. Fuck me. I haven't had one of these since like primary school. And you forget how good they are. Mm-hmm. That it's one of them. It's actually one of them ones that she picks them up because they're on offer and in the spa. And you go, fuck Penguin Ham. And you're, you're like, no, you're looking for a club orange or something. Yeah. And then that's the only thing. And you eat one and you go, fuck, I'm going to get a good time, one. yeah. Is that. Is I this think in terms of a biscuit, it has everything you need. It's a, it's a, it's definitely a school break biscuit to me. Oh, aye. Yeah. it's a lunchbox special. Yeah, 
<laughs> it, it, it tastes the the end taste of it is a wee bit like there's despair in it. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't finish sweet. Mm. It finishes sort of like cardboard in my mouth. You need another bit to mm. take that away. That's maybe why you go for another one. I mean. I'd sooner have one of these than an Oreo will say. Yeah. No, it wins out of them too Pop. today. Like. This is like a... Generic biscuit. It's like Colombia. It's going to get out of the group stage in the World Cup. Mm. But it's it's going home after that round of 16. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? It's Why? it's not there It's yet. never get past the last 16, mm. if they're lucky. Yeah. It's never going to challenge a hobnob. Like. Is a hobnob your favourite biscuit? It's right up there. Like. Them fucking tonics, caramel bars are dirty as well. Do you know what? My dad, we met this wee man from Glasgow in Spain. I was wearing a, a, like a t-shirt that said Patrick and Saldig on it. And I run into his bollocks in the toilets. But he seen him was wearing a Saldig, so he's trying to stop me. But as a kid, and you're told, if an old boy in the toilets tried to grab you, what do you do? So I run out to my dad, and I was like, I was like five or six. And I was like, there's a wee man in there, and he was trying to, my dad was like, hey, and he brought me in. And Harry, I ended up calling him my Uncle Harry. Like, we got that close to him. They were like family. That's mental. But he worked for them. For Penguins? For, for McVitie's? Oh, for Tonics. And McVitie's. Like, he worked for all he the was biscuit a companies. Guy. So he was in charge of marketing for them. Unreal. And we went to his house, and it was like stuff that you couldn't get back yeah. home. Aye. And I was like, this stuff's unreal. Like, yeah. see the Tonic snowballs? Ah, uh, snowballs. Filth. A mate of mine, the guy was you in could a do band. A, box, yeah, I'm like. a guy was in a band with. You, you used to when you go over to like his his mom and dad's house, they were big fans of them Tonics caramel bars, and I mean they had a cupboard in their house, so when you opened it, it just stacked them, and none of them were fat. Like, it was my, it was it was a. a That's fucking, why the cupboard was full. <laughs> <laughs> if you went to his house and put your hand down the side of the sofa and it was just full of wrappers of it, <laughs> then I would understand. So here, penguins through to the next round. Fuck Oreos. Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you take them home and you can fucking throw them at your kids. Fuck them at the um, penguins. Yeah. Uh, so here, game two. You ready? I don't think I'll get any. Oh, do we pick new teams? Nah. So we're, still, we're, we're in now. We're, we've used our vetoes. Can I cheat and go in and like put your controller? I would nearly, I would nearly that? want to keep this team and give Did you ever do that? Team. I remember I done that. Oh, like changing other people's controllers? Like I had a pick Celtic, Celtic to to and then Celtic were getting bit by Rangers, so I would go in and change over and the Rangers and then be a confident. <laughs> Score a load of so goals. Yeah. <laughs> They're not even in the league. Who, Rangers? Us, here. Oh. No, these are shy, look. So, um, have we any questions, Dan? Oh, you be dick. So, what's the worst restaurant takeaway order cock up you've ever had? A cock up, as in like on my part or on like I've I think, ordered it. I think they fucked up. Oh they shit! It. Well, there was one night I ordered a Chinese when I was I was living down uh, just outside of Andy Town for a few months, and um, <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> That's not it. What's that? <laughs> I love the fact that you get. I was living there for a few months. Oh well, no, it was it was it, was, like, it was before I, I moved back out. Get the fuck out of it. No, I, mo I moved back out towards Twinbrook after, and um, just out past Twinbrook, and um, the the what do you call it? Uh, we ordered a Chinese, and do you know when an order takes forever to come, and you know it's being fucked up. It's just been fucked to the bottom of the pile, or it's sitting in the delivery guy's fucking boot. And when it came, we'd ordered like really basic shit, like, you know, curry noodles and curry rice. Chance, oh, mate. And when it came, uh, the curry from the curry rice had all like fallen clean out and it was just like dry rice. And you know when on the curry rice, the curry hits that paper that they put it in, that cheap, you know, like newspaper paper? It's like shit in a blanket. And it was, it, mate, it was fucking disgusting. And I phoned up the Chinese. And I was like, mate, this is shite, like, and um, and it sent wrong things as well, like, cause they put like prawn stuff in it that I would never order, so it wasn't even like, it was stuff a bad, that you could use. Yep. it was a bad fuck up, and we were raging about it, and then it was too late, cause they were sort of closing, so it was like too late for them to do anything about it that night. Chance, oh, it wasn't bad, and um, 
then they ended up giving us like our next order for free, but it was a pretty shite order. What about you, mate? Well, I worked as a delivery driver for takeaways. Did you? Mm-hmm. What was that like? It was what the fuck was that for? You must have booted him. Or was that I uh, was one of yours, huh? Um mental. Absolutely mental. Being a delivery driver in West Belfast, picture. Aye, I'm sure um, you don't get a lot of well, do you get a lot of tips or is it shade? It, it really depends. Um I used to do well because the food was always paper and hot because I drove like a maniac. Aye. You do um, drive like a maniac to be fair. You uh you love an old no seatbelt, don't you? Oh mate, seatbelts, you don't wear seatbelts. That's how you die. <laughs> you heard it here tape first, kids. <laughs> tape in, tape in, horror seatbelt can make you die in a car. <laughs> tape it in. Tape it in. Unbelievable. Go on, so you you drive like a maniac. So what happened was, my first delivery job was actually for a kebab shop in Town, facing right. the way for it, Saiton. Oh, but it wasn't called that then. It was called Kebab Express or something. Yeah, and it was in there over beside Freddy's Kitchen. News spread that I was a good delivery driver. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so what? News so spread. what happened was Freddy's Kitchen, the Chinese, was right beside it, and the yeah. girl on the counter was coming out and going, "Are you going up the road? Do you want to do something or up the road stuff?" Right. Okay. So I was like moonlighting for another. De- I was delivering for two places at once. Unheard of, like right, yeah. So, oh, here you have to fucking keep on playing it. And uh, mm. what what is the point? <laughs> it makes me Seriously. feel good. I don't care who I. This is like this is like getting the Xbox for Christmas, and you go your dad going what, and you go, will you play one match with me? And, and I, he plays I, one match, and then done play again. Uh, right, <laughs> that that that's what that this is like, Karen. So I is it that. making you feel better about yourself? I mean, I don't care who I beat. I can only beat what's put in front of me. I'm like I'm like. Uh, United in the nineties. You give me Portville, I'll fucking slaughter them. Like you know what I mean? Don't care. Um, professional performances, like keeping clean sheet and all that. So I've actually had a good string so, of passes here. So so word spread that you're the, yeah. So Freddie's kitchen approached me, and uh, I got the job in there. So it was a big <laughs> transfer <laughs> to do their deliveries. Is that like through an agent there? No, the, the the girl came down and says, "Here, do you want to fucking I not, do, do not you, do it anymore, friends? Because you're not making as much money as you're making here. Because Freddie Kitchen was famous for their hot curry. So is it busy, or? Oh, I mean, so this girl, it was Jackie. She worked on the thing. She knew what she was doing, mate. So it made the Chinese really busy. Right. And you were going to make far more money. Like in the kebab place, you probably made sixty quid at the end of the night. Right. Whereas in Freddie's Kitchen, I was doing like a hundred and seventy quid on a Saturday me. night. It was like. More than you, what how I does it work? Do you because I've often wondered this. So what do you pay by the delivery or do you just get at the start of the night they give you a float? Right. So I was getting seventeen pound. There was two drivers. Right. And I ended up going to them and saying, "Get rid of the old driver. Give me a seventeen quid, and I'll do his work as well." Just in a helicopter now. Just no, like... mate. It was just Jackie and me had it sewed up. We knew how to do it. She would only take up the road deliveries. Right. And if so, the first call that came in say it was Beachmount. Right. She, if she got a phone call for Poglas or Lanadoon, yeah. she would say, "Listen, it's going to be forty-five minutes. Yeah, because we're going down the road first. Do you right. want to wait?" And if they went yes, then it meant when I came back from <coughs> up the road, I was doing down the road. All oh, right, okay. If I was yeah. doing down the road, she knew how to. She worked in a taxi double, so she yeah, knew. she knew how to. She had a bit of fucking sense about her, like right? So she got extra money too because the the workload fucking increased. And it meant that the chain he was making fucking clean forts on a Saturday night. That's mental. So I was getting 30 fo- £34 at the start of the night, and then I got all the delivery money, which was like a pound or 150 Right, okay. Um, so you can work out in your head how many deliveries Aye. I was doing on a fucking night. That's mental. Now, all thanks to Jackie, I wasn't doing one delivery down the road. Ah, uh, yeah, you're doing I was doing ones, yeah. 20 drop-offs. Yeah. And I would have all my wee cousins working for me, and they'd done the running to the door. So say we had Somebody three in the and, street, yeah. the three of them were running, and I would just give all them as like a ten or each. Yeah. So it was it was good, like, but it meant your Saturday night you were working. Aye. When your mates were away at the arena and fucking here arena. and everywhere. But it meant I had a hundred and seventy quid to go to the fucking Nats Corner Market on the Sunday and Aye. buy fucking rain, rave tapes off the fucking UDA. Do you know what I mean? And Dinky Donuts. I remember. Uh, I I remember one time. 
I don't know if I've told you this before, but I uh, I got. I was in the house like I I never I would never have had the house to myself like I'd never happened to my house right because there was always, my mum and dad were always there but there was this one time when I was about sixteen or seventeen they and or one, somebody was always living there as well you know like one of my other brothers or sisters uh, but at this point whenever it was it was just me and my mum and my dad for a wee while and um oh mate and um. Somebody ran. My mom and dad went over to see one of our ones over in England, and so I was I was in the house by myself for pretty much the first time ever. And phone, ring, phone rings one night when I'm out like about half one in the morning, and I'm like, "What the fuck? Somebody's dead, right?" That's my brain goes there, right? And I had the wee wireless phone up in the up in the house up up in my room, sorry. And when it rang, I answered it, and it was some drunk cunt going, "Is that the lantern?" Right? Because our our house number was literally like, did I just score a free kick? <laughs> Look at that. But you're making it like it's a big deal. That is a big deal. I never like, score free kicks. And no, but you're playing against me. It's Who like, gives a fuck? it's like really playing against Willie's fucking real football team. <laughs> It'd be like well, Man United's fucking Here. under 17 team playing against them. And well, a win like, is a win. Dead ball specialist. I've just unlocked an achievement. Mate, that'd be like me UFC fighting a piece. Um, fuck's sake, weighs up. I mate, I bet you would want to win. It's like I, I thought. Uh, mate, see if I had a won this today, I wouldn't even react. I bet you, you would have. Mate, it. I wouldn't have. It, this gives me no satisfaction. It gives me. Satisfaction. This would be like getting a wang from your brother. It's no good. <laughs> <laughs> that that's just even if. It, do you know what I mean? It's just be like. That's like somebody saying a wank's a wank. It's not your brother. A wank's a wank. Your brother give you a wank. I mean, how do you even enjoy that? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Get a wank from your brother. Oh, mate, come on now. I'm banging in screamers here. I know, but you're like playing the open that. Uh, I disagree. Anyway, so... I wasn't... Like, my hands wasn't ma- on the controller. Matter. It doesn't matter. Just let me enjoy it then. Let me enjoy when they okay. do go in. Did you enjoy that, Karen? I love that. I so, must be like a prostitute here. Our, our like, I'm not even in prayer, but it must be like... Must be like when your girl's on her doof and must it? It <laughs> must be like when and she's your girl not going to get enjoyment out of it. But you're like, I've blue balls. I need you to milk this bitch. You know what I mean? Like it's no, I don't know what you mean. It's like she's not going to get any satisfaction out of it. And then I, you, I, and I then know you, what this is going on. And then you come and then you go, and she goes, "Did you enjoy it?" Like she's not, she never got nothing out of it. <laughs> I'm so glad that we can share on this level. But anyway. Our house number was the was one digit. <laughs> Our house number was one digit away <laughs> from the from, lantern. From the lantern, which was a Chinese Nandy town. And do you know what it did, mate? I swear to God, I was so raging. You found the woke, lantern? No, I was so raging when I woke up, I took his order. I took. I went, aye. He goes, is that the lantern? I goes, aye. Took his order, asked him, did he want to drink and all? Did he phone back? No. Well, if he did, he phoned the lantern. He didn't fucking phone me back. I swear to God, I took an order and went to bed. It's like, fuck him. Chicken balls and rice or whatever, and I goes, "Do you want a drink?" And he goes, "I found the orange." I went, "Right, well." I love to still remember what he ordered. I definitely, definitely remember that it was fucking Fanta orange I offered him. <laughs> Can't <laughs> see. See if I was doing something like that, like that malicious, I would have to go here, mate. We're doing malicious. We're doing. We're doing fucking. I know, like you could have turned around and said, "Mate, no, it's not the lantern." He was well, drunk. No, uh, fuck him because it, no, it, 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 it no. used to happen. Rel- it used to happen. Well, Andreas Hoosh used to get the taxi company because they were one digit off, oh, so and they used to hate it. And I used to be like, "It is. It's annoying though." Change your number. It's like a nuisance call. Get the lantern to change your fucking number and not changing it. They have a saying who say their 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 fucking business premise with a fucking number on it. Probably printed probably went to Andy News and paid fucking a hundred quid to print out them stupid leaflets that can't put through your door just on the bin anyway. And you want them to change their number. Fuck them. Well I don't even How many times did your number ring that night? That night just that once. Right. So but that, it was, how it many was... times did the lantern ring? I don't know. Probably a lot more, but that's yeah. their that's their point. That's their it doesn't matter. But it wasn't the lantern that caused this. This was some. No, I'm not angry at the lantern. I yeah. was angry at that spo- sp- spoon. <laughs> for fucking... say it as you say it I as know, you yeah. mean it. I was angry at him for fucking. Are you going to fully edit these, or are you just? No, they're, they're, they'll be edited. I don't know if we're keeping the fucking. The bit of you know, like it's like your... I will. We'll have to edit it again. But um, EA Sports definitely not give you sponsorship if you're talking about people's douche. and your brother giving you a whack. <laughs> 
What if you just sit the whole way through the actual thing? Just go so wank, here, wank, 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 wank. Talk to me. Talk Added to me. Account. Talk to me about um, our morning rehearsals that we we'll had to do for Mate, our play. What? Can I tell you? What? Genuinely for the gift. Are you even playing this anymore? No. No. I wasn't playing it all, all the way through it. I was literally hitting the buttons like this. Hold on. I, I'm going to score one more and I'll just talk to you, right? <laughs> No, go ahead. No, no, you talk. Tell me your story. I just. I genuinely no way you says to bring a gift. Aye. I genuinely wanted to get you a fry, <laughs> but me. it wasn't just any fry. I wanted a fry from the spa in the show oh, room where he was saying, "I was so funny." Fries are one day. They, the fuck do you want a fry, no mate? They don't do them no more. Oh. So I was going to buy you the actual stuff to make a fry, but then it took that's away more, that's from more than the budget. Yeah. No, it wasn't more than the budget. Cause it would it, be. Uh, nah, well, I could have stuck the sausages in my pocket, but that's not the point. <laughs> Press B. <laughs> it was, it was, um, it, it didn't happen, and I, and I wish it did. Uh, that's, I, that's, that's what came into my head for your present. Well, was I remember. a fry from the spa, because I remember, genuinely, I, it, it's one of them ones that we keep talking about. It was like the other week we that. had a gig, and we were going up to Loma, and me, Woozy, and Willie, so obviously they had been spent with them with you. I we've been on Shane's podcast they that were week. constantly, for everything, they were going, mate. I don't think I see. I I don't think I say that as much. And then Somebody when people point it, it out, you go. So it was I like do say that. Everything that happened that night, it was neat. <laughs> and then I told him about beef a la booth. Oh, um, it beans a la booth. Yes. And let's they, talk about. Have you done it yet? Have you tried it yet? Can I be honest? Well, you didn't like it. But you I haven't done, done it. All right. I've That's never, okay. I've never tried. Do you know what? It. It's all in front of you then. Yes. Right. Let me I explain. will. I will. Do you know what? Next episode, shall we do beef a la booth? Beans a la booth instead of biscuits. First time. Yeah. And we'll talk about it. Beans a la booth, right? Let me explain what this is. So when Ma Bartlett was going into the hospital to uh, have uh, her million children, we, my, my dad, would have been left in charge of cookery. Now, God, God bless my dad. Like he was a very talented guy. But he couldn't cook for shit. Like he couldn't. It, my my dad's idea of like cookery was like a tin of tomato soup and a round of plain bread. Now that is a good thing, but it's not. It's not you know nutritious meal for everyone in the house. Like do you know what I mean? Anyway, he couldn't. He couldn't. This is a chance, by the way. He couldn't cook anything. And do you know what he used to do? Uh, he used to mix. Now he would have mixed cereals, which I don't really oh. have an issue with. But he would have like. You know, taking like Rice Krispies in one hand and fucking muesli in the other and mixed it. Or like, here's cornflakes and fucking Cocoa Pops or something going together. So he used to do that all the time, which was actually quite good crack. But he would do it with soups as well. So you'd be getting like fucking scotch broth and mulligatawny or something. Fucking scotch agatawny. Fucking disgusting, right? Cream of mush chicken, right? Um, Disgusting. But, um... He, he loved them um, condensed soups, you know, like in the packet. Where no, it comes out out of the tin. You have to put the tin of it in See, and then two the tins of water. Yeah. Was it yellow pack you've got? We would have had yellow pack stuff sometimes. Aye. Which is a, a, a thing people like genuinely wouldn't really realize about. But I remember that from school, like people like economy size. People would have had crisps that didn't even have any colors on. Yeah, the pack. Ye- yellow pack crisps. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. West Side stores. What? Hang on, because I need to fucking write. I need, I've, I've destroyed you on that, but now we'll have loads to talk about. Hang on. <laughs> this roast, your. Right. So. So. Beans all booth. Anyway, my dad, my dad would have been left in the house. He had to cook. And one, his, his, his contribution to the culinary arts was crumbling an oxo cube into a tin of beans. Or some of our ones will put two oxos in the tin. I think that's too much. One oxo cube in the tin of beans, and you mix it round while the beans are heating. I actually, I don't take them any other way. I don't like beans that haven't been boofed. They're fucking unbelievable. And that's what we call it, beans a la booth. I reckon I love it, and I'll tell you why. Because in Scotland, there was a drink called Bavril. It's that. It's that. Which was bad. that thing. Yeah. It, and we, you just drank. You just drank it. It's I like th- fucking beef thing stock, yeah. It's fucking unbelievable. It's an unbelievable thing. It's amazing if you put it over like a baked potato 
a wee bit of cheese on there. See, I love baked potatoes yeah, with totally. cheese and beans. That's it's on real. Save your boof and beans, mate. You're, it's it's next level. Well, listen, sorry, I'm not going to do West it. Side stores, and we will do it on this. Or Declan worked in there. My mate's was a deputy. Dad do you remember was it was the all... sheriff. That's a <laughs> I love it. Paddy Hall. I love it. Right. It's like, I, I'm literally going, he was a deputy and you're like, he was a sheriff. This whole place, if you don't know what it was, it was like a fucking big warehouse. Is there is there a Tesco there now? There was. There's houses there now. Aye, but they well, tried was, to put Tesco's Tesco there for what? in St. James's in the Bog Meadows the bottom, and the people the were bottom. like, fucking chair, on, Tesco's. Is that, is that the, the Donegal Road in there? Yeah. Aye, on, on, uh, over at the Park Centre. And West Side Stores was this big fucking massive warehouse, but it was and it was like a, a supermarket for fucking cheap stuff. But it was basically all, it was all done uh, Western style. So there was West Side Sam was like the mascot of the shop, and he had their their badges were sheriff badges that had like their names on it, and uh, Art Decky worked there. But they wore like, it was either a bright blue top and red trousers or bright blue trousers and a red top. It was rare like. And uh, do you remember? All I remember about it was the fucking cold room, oh, the mate. cold pit. Couldn't go in it. It was where they kept all the yogurts and like the fucking milk and all. And it was just like it was fridges under a stack of pallets, and you go into it and you would. It would. It was so cold in it. You just wanted to go to sleep. Yeah. It was like immediate hypothermia. You'd just go into it and go. Daphne wouldn't pass health and safety executive now. No, it was fucking horrendous in there. Funny though, Can I tell I you was a so quick funny where you were like, Paddy Hall was, he was the fucking sheriff. That's so, a gag. So we had a song and all for him. So John Hall's dad, Paddy Hall, they lived like the back of their house, backed onto the car park. Right, right. So his dad basically had a wee fucking a gate to that he walked into. Right. Yeah. So it was like we called him. He was the sheriff, but we called him the sheriff because he could look out his window and watch the shop when he was, <laughs> and he would do it. Right. And we used to. We used to make wee songs up about him and all. Here he comes round the corner. <laughs> Pat the sheriff and all. Do you know what I mean? It was, but I have photos in there of like Hesky and my mates with when it closed. John Hall's dad went in and took the wooden cowboy. Oh saint That West sat outside Sam. the door. Westside yeah. Sam. And they had it out the park. Like they probably still have it. But he had Westside it. Sam. That's class. And I, they, we all used to get our photo talk at it, parties and all. Our dad ended up working on some shy places. Like he worked in there. And he worked in JJB Sports when it first opened in the park centre. There was a time when like five, four or five of our ones were all just working in different shops in the park centre. Which is fucking weird. Like you, The first money I ever made that I can remember, like properly making as a kid, mm. was in the car park of the park centre when it was 10p for a trolley. So me and Heskey would just hang about there all day. And so if you put a lollipop stick in the thing... And push it in, it would uh, release the trolley. Yeah, people just used to leave the trolleys lying around, didn't they? Because it was it was that, and then it got to the stage where it was like 50p. But we used to stand and we go, do you want us to bring your trolley back? Or they just left it, uh, as you said. But we used to make like sometimes 12, 15 quid. <laughs> and when you were like fucking... I know, yeah, because mate... 10, yeah, like that was, was, was decent. Like, I mean, that was decent. That was a day's wage yeah, for some men. Yeah, like Art Declan, Art Declan worked in JJB. And I think he was on something like 120 an hour. Like that's fucking. Disgusting. We were making more than some of the people who worked in working the shop. in there, like. Uh, and then it was like fifty p, and yeah. then people were so. And then definitely, but that's w- when we it? came up with the ingenious ways of filling the thing, and then, but then we got no one, and like I remember I said all one time going, I'm going to the Andy Town News about these two cunts. <laughs> <laughs> because we done her out of fifty p in the trolley, Love and she, she was like fucking bastard. The park, the park center. Uh, Holds a special place in my heart for even though I hate it and I haven't been in it in years. Do you remember Lifestyle Sports was in it? Yeah. Genuinely, Heskey and Leonard had like one pair of Negar Max to bought, but like got new goodies every three weeks. I was talking about this recently. They, cost, they, they would just bite the tip of it off and what, bring them down. One of our, one of uh, our, our Declan's mates used to do that. He used to go down and get fucking new goodies every goodies. couple of weeks. He, he bought like one pair of goodies. I tried it. And when I went down, I got like the manager, and he was like, "No." Uh, Yet again, the shit. And I yeah, couldn't that, get away that's with exactly, it. Exactly, I will. But say Hesky and Leonard would have been exactly standing. The Hesky used to go, to oh, "There was a bit of dirt in that." I used to bait the front lip off it, bring it in, and go them. Like our max are broke, and the manager go, "Hold on, I get the new pair." And I used to try it, and it was like the manager wants to speak to this guy. This guy did it like every two or three weeks. Hesky and Leonard, like for three years, in lifestyle sports, didn't buy new pair goodies. Cause he, yeah, this guy, this guy, like he went in once and bought like you know a hundred and twenty pound fucking pair of gullies, and everybody's going, that's like, that's like, 
too much money to spend on shoes. Like at that time, and he had got his for about three years, and you're like, actually, that's a fucking great investment, mate. Um, but yeah, the park centre. I just remember, like, I remember that we rotten uh cafe and it called the bay leaf and i remember belly busters and there was a wine mark and was there the caroline music remember music shops used to be a fucking thing yeah i think big time i remember i heard an advert on irish radio on today fm the other day for fucking golden discs and i was like how the fuck woolworths is gone but fucking golden discs has survived do you know what i mean like what did they sell fucking must be still cds and shit can't be can't well, I mean, be. There must be branching out. Vinyls? Fuck. Like, lateral flow kits. Li- <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you go in the golden discs now and they're... We they're, only they're sell selling, masks They're selling and PPE. Lateral <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's their big income stream. I just don't know how the fuck places like I've stayed open. Is, is the gramophone shop still open in Belfast? I haven't been into town to walk around it in fucking ages. The gramophone? Is, is it gone? Like... Are you joking here? Is it gone? Was, it was there a, actually a shop called the Gramophone? It was a music shop opposite. Uh, actually, the back know, of Boots. It was. It was. It was opposite City Hall. It was between City Hall and Boots. And it sold. It, it was a wanky music shop, though. Do you know what I mean? Did it have an upstairs? They would have had like radio heads, B sides. What? No, it was. I think it was all downstairs. Uh, Daphne must have been somewhere. You know, around right the corner was, from Lynn Hall. I was like barred straight away from or something. From in there. Must I, have been. It, it was, was like because most pieces put under me. Like I remember, do you remember Fraser's in Coin Market? The shirt shop. The, the, yeah, like a, a man's fa- clothes they were a shop. The family from uh, like Newry, right? Yeah. And at an early age, people recognised that McDonald had the skills to get into the shop. This guy paid me on a Can fucking. I, just say I love when people recognise your skill or like when it was like news spreads about your skill. They, they paid me when I was like 14 to stand in the shop and tell them who the shoplifters was. Like, touting in the day, but well <laughs> worth it because I had a pair of 501s. A Levi's belt Levi's. that was heavy as fuck. Yeah. And a Levi jacket with a fur up here for Christmas because I, all I'd done was work in there. They paid me like a five or a day, but I got Levi's at the end of it. Like a full kit for Christmas. And it was like... I party, remember the importance. Tout on the thing. But people didn't stay because I was in it. So my mates would have come in from school and went... You working on here? Do you still do you record? still get Christmas clothes? No, I don't do it anymore. Once kids happen, I say I don't do it anymore. I've done it for about the last five years. Do you know what I get? I get I get Christmas flounces. I get new jammies for Christmas. I what do you call them? Flounces. You were really stuck up, cons. I'm not stuck up. <laughs> nah, what's, you what's really were stuck up about like, me wearing nobody trousers from that are comfortable. We're, nobody from West Belfast calls them that. No, I call them that. I nobody know. in my family calls them that. No, I, I call them flounces. That's snobbery. Because they're like, no, wait. I'm like putting on. I'm basically wearing flags because they just flap you put them on see it watch this is a flouncy t-shirt see it i'll get i get trousers that are like that mate you need like brought in and debriefed in the being from <laughs> west belfast again no 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 you do i'm i'm not i'm from it but i'm not i'm not of it i'm not of it i was talking about this i was saying that like it's funny because you go i'm from west belfast and i go why and then when i say it you and everybody else goes <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm from West Belfast, are you though? You know, I, people I would say to me, you're the only comedian from West Belfast, aren't you? And I go, no, well, there's Karen Bartlett. And they go, who's that? And I go, Karen, you see him on Ponter? Oh, he's not from West Belfast. <laughs> and they don't know you. No, no. But you still you st- are from West Belfast. I'm from it, I'm from it, and I understand it, and I do love it, right? Like West Side Stores, that'll pull you back in there, that'll you, get you some points. Here's Yellow place, Pack, I'll get you some do you know points. My, do you know what my favourite place is in West Belfast? The Coffee House Bistro in Suffolk, you know, around at Woodburn. I love in there. What? I have it done it again. Mate, what? do you know where I talk about disasters? I, well, I love in there. I love their fry, right? Uh, I love in there. We went in there one the day. The atmosphere in there is always great. Mate, we went in there, and... Everybody at the table got the fry, and I still hadn't even got my tea. And then everyone was finished, and I still hadn't got my tea. Oh, mate, Never amazing. made my fry. Uh, and then they came in my tea, and all our ones went and sat in the car, and then my fry came. Can I just say it was the worst day of my life? When was that? The last time I was in it, which was about three years ago. Let me take you to it. It's lovely. And I spoke to the fella, and uh-huh. he dismissed me, and I went. I love in there. You're about two minutes away from me coming back at night and gluing your lexicon. 
he was one oh word comment. It was like I was looking at him and he was just like, I'm not giving in to you. And I was like, You've no idea. You're pushing buttons. Yeah, like, I, 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 I not like a lot him. of people. I, to be fair, I've, never had, I've never had a bad experience. No. That's the if that's the worst. It's not their food. It's nothing, and we used to go to it all the time. Uh, but he's he, like our ones. When, go, when somebody gets it wrong, I should admit that they've got I, it wrong. Like. I don't let our ones go to it now uh, because uh, of it. And we uh, haven't found a new fry place, by the way. There's not very many good fry places. There's a lot of shit ones. There's a lot of garages doing fries. I don't know about garage fries. I think they're a bit stinking. Like, I think you can definitely make a better yourself. Look, like. I just noticed my name is in that picture. I know I was looking at it earlier as well. My, mine's on it too. Uh, Michael pointed out actually for one of the first quite small font. Yeah, well, this so is the I'm thing. Average. I'm actually surprised that mine's is that that big on it because normally I'm like this. I would like see where it says she and Tom to say to the cup. Yeah, I normally would have something like that. Like the feeler for who's, years. Who's Tom Grennan? Do you not know Tom? No, live beside you in the black shirt. Where? Down the street. Like Moor Park. Alright, no, I don't know. The, down Is the he bottom. a comedian? No. What's he do? Or we're not allowed to talk about him or something? Mm, he's, he's a power military, like, but he's Fuck right. up, that's not why he's on Shane. He's hardly on Shane's podcast. <laughs> I have no on. idea who John Gr- or Tom Green is. <laughs> Fucking dick. He lived beside you on Black Shore and going, did he? he could he's have. in the insignificant cunt because I don't know who he is. I'm, I'm what is he? Going, what did you, he's a singer. He's a singer. Alright, okay. How do you not know him? You're a singer? You fucking didn't know him? <laughs> How do you not know him? You're a singer? Just me hanging out with What do you mean you don't thing? know him? He's a black taxi driver? <laughs> Were? Jamaica? You're a black taxi driver in the fall? Do you not know him? No. Speaking of which, speaking of, of driving, I got you a gift, Paddy. About, it's a book. It's called Drive. Is it from the film Drive? It's, it's, the, it's the book that the film's based on. It is about... I actually like it's that a, It's film. about an amazing driver, so I thought you might like it. And because I'm not an amazing driver? No, because you drive like a fucking mad cunt. I remember I remember one night we were coming back. No, I'm not talking about the night we crashed. I'm talking I'm not talking about that. There was a night we went up to do a gig. Was this the time we went up to do a gig and they rang me as I was pulling into the driveway it, to tell it me it wasn't It happening. isn't that time Because that night or I was actually Ooh, I was actually what? gonna fit I'm not a what? No here they've never even messaged me again. Because oh, the message that I sent them was like you're dead to me. Oh, mate. I remember that. I remember that fucking... Ugh. We got all the way up the... We were coming into Coleraine. We were literally... The hospital bit was just in front of us. Get a call. There's hardly anybody here. Just call this gig. I'm like, so we've driven to fucking... Ugh. Anyway, I hate, I hate that road. I hate that drive. But there was a time when we were up. We were doing a gig in Palomino where I believe you always do well. And I always eat shit. And we were doing a gig in there. And um, they fucking hate me up there. And um, I don't know why. And we did this gig. And I was driving. And on the way out, I goes. To, I remember specifically going, I know where I'm going. And you were like, no, I'm a taxi man. I know where I know where you have to go. I know where you have to go. And out of badness, she sent me on the way to fucking Coleraine. And there was nowhere to turn forever. Like, we nearly had to go to Coleraine. Like whatever way we went, I think I think you had we had to go to like some big fucking roundabout, and I remember just going, I'm gonna fucking murder. Genuinely, us. what I was trying to do that night, right? Just to be honest with you, was I was trying to get you to go into Brashean by accident on purpose because I liked the wee chippy in there and I was going to buy a thing of chips, but I knew you weren't going to fucking I go, did, and I, I didn't, didn't know. know if it was still open. But it ended up it backfired, and I had to just let on that it was. Oh mate, I remember that one. Where else have we been that's been fucking mental for gigs? Where else have we Everywhere. done gigs? The Lamb Dirk doing the play on the shaky tables. On tables? Jesus. I remember there was a bit of that play where we were all supposed to like do a wee dance and all. And, and that, they were it. proper. The stage that was had coming to be apart. the grimmest night of that. And I, like, that, to make that the grimmest night of that play right. is fucking unreal. I know, because yeah. the grimmest night was, was the first night. night. <laughs> when fucking... Your man fucking I uh, once used to fucking parachute across the oh, Himalayas mate. with Bono and we milked fucking Yak fucking Yaks and What was his name? Conliff. Conliff. Cunt. He was the rarest cunt ever. I mean I don't hope he dies, but I hope he's not alive. But the <laughs> the that that the one in do how many nights do we do in the Lamb Dark? Two? One. Was it just one? One. It feels And it was like pensioners. 
the role. I remember that. And they were like, oh my God, I can't believe how dirty he is. And you it. said something in the first. There's a lot of swearing in this. Oh Jesus, they hated, they hated that opening monologue. They fucking hated you. They hated me straight away and I'm and like. And that was it. And that was like, he's not like a wee woman. I know, yeah. That line stuck with me for the rest of my life. Thanks, he I is not like it, a wee woman. And, and he's like, yeah, no, he has a full beard on. I remember, I remember getting, when I did one of our Ailing's plays, our Ailing goes to me in the rehearsals. It was, it was, it was during the fucking one we did. Right. Uh, here's me. In one of the rehearsals, there was definitely, I don't know if you were there when she said this though. Might have been one of the, do you remember there was days where it I was just me up. and you or, <laughs> or there was days where it was just me and Chloe or whatever, you know, because I was in every scene but you and Chloe were in different ones. So, it, I just remember um, rehearsing it and Laurie Lane going to me, are you acting? <laughs> and I was like, are you fucking breathing? Because I'm going to stop it. Like, oh my God, I'm not a word. Was I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Oh, she was like, are you acting? I'm not being funny, but are you acting? I was like, I'm going to fucking stamp on your lungs. And then I remember, I, I remember that though. I'll remember that one for the rest of my life. He's not even like a wee woman. He's not even like a wee woman. Amazing. What a great, a great statement. That play was brutal. At, at fucking them tables. And I complained. The stage was tables. I came in at the start that night do you remember and I was like is this and the two girls were like hard are you this is it and I was like no, I, know. I, I did call it I was it like, was definitely like it was definitely like how dare you and I'm like how dare you I'm gonna fucking fall through this this is but like but I called it I said is there not meant to be clips to hold all this together because I, I can I know like I have kids I remember you don't and they were looking at me like we've done this before it should have been like, held together better I remember when there was a bit when and then the manager, the manager and I went flan on it and the then the manager asked if the place came in the other night. Well, did you not use the clips then to hold them all together? I didn't know that. I and know, I just I, looked at Tony Devlin and he went... I remember coming off stage that night and just going, you know, clothes off, clothes on. Home. Later. Chloe's waiting for me outside. I'm like, get me fucking home now. I'm going to fucking kill everyone. <laughs> the, the, that night, that night... <laughs> I think if that night had come before the opening night... You wouldn't have went again? I, I, I probably wouldn't have done it again. I think the opening night was so shit. Would you have walked away that night? I was very close to walking away after the opening First night. night. Like, and I mean walking away from public life. life. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm away to this monastery. Because I was literally like... Kill me now. I, di I didn't even want to do comedy again. I didn't want to do any performance off. again. It took me a while to get over that. Because it was so fucking rare. Pretty funny though. But can I tell on. you? Yeah, I enjoyed like the rehearsals and the crack and all that because I'm a Mason cunt. Oh, uh, yeah, I've uh, never noticed it that. Was, it was I remember you would, you would like come in slightly late when everyone else had already like sort of been sitting around having a cup of tea and been ready to go, and then you go, oh, Where's the tea? <laughs> <laughs> like, you fucking can't. <laughs> and then I remember, I remember though, uh, the famous bit. The what? The famous bit with them two girls. Aye, when the when can you not run down and get something in the bakery? Aye, uh, Paddy had fucking bought bought them all chips like literally two nights before or something. Wasn't it? You yeah. bought them all. You bought everybody chips, and uh, and then you said them here. Can you run down the bakery for us? And it was. But I was giving them the money. I know. No, you weren't even asking them to buy it. Yeah, I remember. And they were like, "We're not here to do that." And I, was I like, know. I fucking spent forty five minutes in fucking Brown's <laughs> chip. You are not this cunt getting new chips with bacon and curry on it. <laughs> And you won't even go and get me a sausage fucking oh, roll to keep us going. Oh, like so funny. Yeah, I was, I was way. And that was one day your mom didn't come in and go. I know. Yeah. Fry? Anybody want to fry? Because we were rehearsing in like a wee J A club. What? What? Saint Teresa's. Is is that what it was? That's Saint Teresa's up on the Glen. Fuck me, that was brutal. I remember when we were doing Orion Lines play. The great night of it was on the first. Was that the? That was the first night I had too. Was that it? I forgot that. Pally and I, the whole premise of I the play. I genuinely looking back on it now because I do sit and sit and think about certain things. I think I fucked it. I think what happened was the whole premise of the play was, uh, Pally was pa a taxi man. Pally was a taxi man, and they they were gonna they, they ran a bar and then they were gonna take the bar from Andy Town and put it. They he, wanted to move he to Spain. He got offered to open a bar in Andy Town. That's what it was. The, no, they opened a bar in Spain. Yeah, inside well, no, the Ponza. Aye, they opened a bar over there, and. That was the whole premise of the play, and it's supposed to come and out. And I was taking you with me. No, you were gonna, you were gonna, fuck it. I can't remember. But well, it must have been partners or something. Yeah, I was working in the one in Andy Town. In Andy Town, and, and we were so gonna keep it the same as that over it there. It was gonna bring Andy oh. Town to Santa Ponta, and yep. then that's what it was. Uh, and then the we Andy were Town supposed Island. to, we were supposed to say all this shit in we the first scene, it. 
And in my memory of it is, you said a line from later in the scene, and I just fucking plowed on. on. And then we got we got to the end of the first half and went, and <laughs> we're sitting there, and our alien comes backstage, and we're all going here, it's going pretty well. People are responding to it. And alien goes, "You've missed like this page of dialogue in the first scene that tells people what the fucking story is." And we were like. I am proud. I I have to say we were we were good really in the start of second mate, because we, we, just went, we literally right, went right. We we'll thought it. Let's there. jam this dialogue in here, in between this line and that line, and it'll all flow. The professionalism flowed, and, 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 it, and it did work to be fair. But I know some people were definitely sitting there going for the first half. What the fuck is this? This about? is just people talking. But um, <laughs> it was two thousand. They were actually. Do you know what? They were actually um, that was well received. Like I did well at the fill of that year. But I'll tell you what. I fucking don't like doing that. Acting is mental. Acting on stage is mental. Acting in front of a camera, I think, is good. Yeah. And once you've done it, it's done. Yeah. You know. But that live performance. The live thing of performing the same shit the same way. For the amount of money you get, it's it's not worth it. No. Not really. Like, it's a full time job. Yeah. For, like, comparatively. Like, if somebody said, tell you, right, there's 400 quid a week, right? And I want you to go into that job and I want you to do it without looking at any books or textbooks. So you have to study it for fucking months before yeah. you do it and then go and do it. You wouldn't do it. Yeah, that's true. You would go, fuck that. It's fucking rare. Like, I don't, mi- I don't miss doing that shit, you know? Okay, I like the crack of it all, I have to say. I really it was, enjoyed it was the crack. crack. I had quick. I mean, it was good when Tony was directing Sociable, us. yeah. I was good crack. And then it was good when... When Eileen was doing it as well, because it was that was just us and her, like so. It was I enjoyed doing your radio one. The radio one was fucking good crack. I enjoyed the crack of it. Remember then. you fucking murdering the director? Here he didn't fuck with me after. Oh no! Every here. scene was just so like I am at sound. The Thanks, d- Patty. Thanks. The, the director of this uh, radio play that we did was like radio four. He was he was quite snooty, like, and he was really rude about the cast and rude to the cast, and he was he was he rude did, in the booth. He was doing when, my bullet, you know when you were performing, and this was, was see the first us. day. The first day of it, I sat in the studio, listening to him. Uh, listening to what he was saying to the other technicians in the in the thing, and things he was saying about the actors were really turning me. Like, I, and I I was stressed. I, I had a sore stomach that day. I got told about that, and I knew that's why you weren't in the booth anymore. I, and I and I I didn't sit in the booth. And the you didn't tell us. I, I didn't told by something else. I I just I came out. I came out of the booth then the next two days and went. I have to spend my time with these actors because I'm not fucking listening to that cunt. And then, but on the on like he, he was giving off about people being on time and being late coming in, you know, after breaks and tomorrow morning everybody better be here at fucking you know we're if we're starting at ten that means you're here at half nine all that crap. And he fucking rolled in himself like forty five minutes late, and he made some excuse about like getting down the road on the bus from the normal and Pally just goes. You just ruined them, caught them off the knees, made some fucking joke he about said, him. His exact things was, I, I knew this would probably shock you, but I use the bus, and, and unfortunately Transic isn't, you know, and I went, doesn't shock me, because you're an old cunt, and you probably have a free bus pass. <laughs> and everybody in the room just went, Nyah! like everybody <laughs> loved it, and he just, he was like, right, well, we'll make a start then. And I was like, he didn't oh, know where to look at He hated it. it, he hated it. I remember him asking you, so there was one bit, there was a bit where didn't you have to do the voice you were you were doing you were playing the mate but then there was a bit where you were doing something else and i remember i'm going to you could you be more sacerdotal and i went what like i always remember this because i remember going why don't you speak why don't you speak english to people instead of fucking latin you can't and it means like can you be like holier than thou and i'm like can you just fucking, can you like, you're not giving people good direction. Can you say, Paddy, can you talk like you're a fucking a priest? priest? There you go. Yeah. Say it in a way that anybody, like. But wouldn't it have been great if I had had a comeback on that in Latin? It would have. Do, do you know, he, he made a lot a joke in Latin one day in there. In Latin. And, and went like this to himself. <laughs> of course. And said this thing in Latin. And I remember going, I get your joke and I hate you. Mm. Like I hate it. It, I it, hope a priest says that when he's sticking up your hole and you're a wee lad, you can't. Well, <laughs> like I would have said something like that to him. I I hated him. Uh but he was he was such a dick to like everybody else. Which people don't need to be like that. No. That's my point. But here he could put back down on the thing because the character I was playing, I am that character. So oh, yeah. you're gonna fuck me about. 
it's going to come back. It was rare though. There was a scene in it where there was a joke that um, uh, two two of the characters had to do. It was the it was one of the funniest jokes in the whole thing, and the two guards that were doing it were laughing. And he was raging, and, and they were raging about it. Now it wasn't like it wasn't taking ten minutes. They laughed in two takes, and he went right. We're cutting this joke, and I went. No, they're not, mate. You come bastard. on, my, come on, my. But um, because they couldn't get it, they were doing a car scene or something. That's right. right. Uh, they could, they couldn't get it, but it, it was. They only had two or three takes. I remember that because I remember, and he just went with don't have time, and I was like, fucking make time. Like, do you know what I mean? The rest of it, like, because there was days we were in there for like an extra hour or two, and then but whenever it suited. Him. Like him to bounce, he just bounced, and I was like, Ugh. anyway. Um, so you've no gigs that you want to talk about, even though you're doing the waterfront. waterfront. When is it? November. When's well, it let's on? be out before. When, when's it on? <laughs> <laughs> when's it on sale? It's on sale now. Right. Okay. okay. It, it, there's. I'm really happy with the ticket sale. Right. Good, For being good. a year away. Aye. It's, it's doing well. Over half sold. Fucking brilliant. That's so brilliant. I'm I'm delighted with. That's brilliant. Um. Well, I mean, thanks for coming on. I think we're. I think we're. Do you want to? Do you want to plug anything for yourself? Sure, mine's sold out. But <laughs> oh. No, I haven't. I, I haven't. Purpose. I, I haven't got anything. anything to announce yet. But I have something bigger coming. But I haven't booked anything yet. Right. Okay. So uh, when I do, though, I'll be. So when the Ulster Hall is happening, you'll let me know. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Do you know what's annoying? Do you know about what? It? I know it's. Everybody knows that's where you're going. It's like when I. Well, put up and is, says, yeah. I says right. Just I announced was, the third I was, date. I was fine. And fucking give us the fucking Ulster Hall. I know, yeah, because I because I was texting into the group because I don't because at the time I didn't have like social media accounts apart from Twitter. I was saying to the boys here, give us a share on your story. What a cunt, by the way. And uh, not one bastard shared my stuff, but sure. I I, I, I was sure if it was on Twitter. He opened the fucking patio doors in the flat and went, "Party's a show on the Ulster Hall," and shut it again. <laughs> That's as much as you've done. Oh, Let's face it. it. Like, just, you told Chloe when they watch the these standards. <laughs> Probably just showing the Ulster Hall. Do you want to go? No. Right, okay. That's oh, it. Do you want to go? No. Oh, no. But uh, do you know, it's a great thing that happened for you because it's a fear. Like, I wanted me, you and Willie to do... That's right, we were going to do like the Ulster Hall or something together. No, Lime 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 went, that's right. Lime Lime one. Well, we do Lame Lame 1 or 2 at the time and we were so, and I was going, we need to do... And it's mental that it's got that yeah, progression yeah. but no, it, it's great no, it I love great. it because I think the scene it's is the way it. but it's not it's grown in a good way whereas everybody's backing everybody up yeah that's true which is Cause it's something that's always needed to happen it definitely used to feel like if somebody said they were doing something or went to do it other people were like oh as opposed nobody to like nobody would even like your post as, as opposed to now where it is a bit more supportive because it needs to be it needs to have yeah, variety we're not actually, you're not actually competing with other people no you're just trying to sell your tickets to your audience and I found that people will buy tickets to everything until they find what they like anyway Aye, that's true do you know what I mean I think um, I think uh, when, when it comes to doing something bigger it's slightly annoying that the Ulster Hall is the right size of venue seats wise mm -hmm. but it's probably not right for comedy right that's what bugs me yeah you know? I, I agree with you but so you nice. would either have to do somewhere smaller and do two shows I never give you your preference oh have you got it I thought you were saying you didn't get it no I wanted to get you a fry oh right okay but I'm intrigued ah this one <gasps> yes Paddy that's a victory I got Chloe but she'll probably not see them but she'll see the bag when she comes yeah, from a coffee that's what I mean <laughs> and I hope it's a Banshee bag you're talking about is it <laughs> Now, oh, mate. in fairness, I was buying that stuff, but when I read it, it says carbonated water. I didn't know if that meant sparkling or not. Ah, that's it, eh? So, Here, mate, this is lethal. And then a wee book the right in for your new mate, show. Mate, this is a fucking haul and a half. I only so, got you one book. I know. This is unbelievable. Like, mate, I'll say this. You're the first guest that's out gifted me. Um, but that's a wee book for your new shows that you're going Amazing, to be reading. Mate. Thanks very much. Um, this is actually lethal. The, you, you've you've outdone yourself. These are the Think best so? guest gifts so far. Didn't pay for any of it. That's the best bit. Yeah, didn't pay so for any of it. Just put, just stuck us in the. No, I'm there was sure. a guy down. There was a guy down my street. Used to have the inside of his coat opened, so that he could put two liters. This is what he used to do. He would put two liters, and he could get two two liters in his coat mm -hmm. of like coke or milk, and he would then go back into the shop that he <laughs> stole it from, and we go, my mommy doesn't need them, and get the money, and get the money. money. Can I tell you? Do we dick? I, we snook until the... I would have been too scared to do something The like snooker that. hall facing Candy Centre. Westway? Right, Westway Snooker Hall. I used to play in there. And... Snooker like... We were like... 
16. Not like going 16. in and doing a gig in it. Right, lads. 16. And uh, there's a wee gambling part. Oh, and that's your mom right, wouldn't let you in there because you're right, right. only 16, right? But we used to sneak in with a car. If it was raining or something, yeah. we were all having the carried out in the rain. So I drank glass Old English, like one litre bottles. Mm. And I had two of them. And I was going in until the actual <laughs> gambling machines. <laughs> his cunt had lost his money. So he fucking dug the machine. So your man, like the wee glass window, he that's slid right, it over and he went to grab him. And I came walking in at the same time and he, he hit my coat and he pulled on it and I dropped the two full <laughs> <laughs> balls of cedar. But you know when you think something's like, like there's a leader in each of them? Yeah. It was like a tsunami. Aye. It just went, <laughs> splashed up everywhere. Oh Your man that punched the machine thought he broke the machine. So he went to run and when he jumped off a stool, he slipped and a bit of glass went into his hole. Oh, right? mate. And I'm just standing there, and I, I didn't know what to say, what to do, and your mum went, Just get out, and you're fucking bored, and we, we spent all week in there. Yeah. I was like, if I don't come in here, you have nothing to do. I have nothing to do. So I was like, fuck am I going to do? And I went up to my mum's house and got a map, a brush, bags, and like, wipes. <laughs> I went down and was hitting the wee buzzer and he was like, I told you to fuck off and you're bored. And hear me, I'm here to clean it up. And he went, I don't even want to fucking look at you. And I was like, oh. and then I found out where he lived and went to his house and everything. And I was like, mate, if I'm bored. And he was like, there's nothing I can do, you broke. And then about two weeks later, he was like, listen, I was a wee bit out of the order that night. But fuck it was me. like, I used to go there all the time. Smash the bollocks. I don't, I don't have anybody to play snooker with anymore. I had like two mates that were good at it. Mm. The rest of us were shit. I, I, I think my highest break ever was like uh, like a 35 and I thought because mm. I got a red and the black which was decent enough I cleared up yeah. like I cleared up and it, but I will say a couple of them were sort of sitting nice for me mm. do you know yeah. what I mean like yeah. easy, oh, easy you couldn't shots. do that on a couldn't do it if they'd all been spotted yes. do you yeah. know what I mean so yeah. there was a couple of them like I think the blue and the fucking pink were sort of more closer to pockets or whatever better but I remember poo. knocking them in and being like this is my life now this is like I, I'm gonna become um, the, new, the new fucking Joe Swell. The, the new, the new Tony Drago. You know, the mad thing, Joe uh-huh. Swell was doing like private lessons in there. Was he? Right. So Probably in that fucking. Didn't they have a Didn't they have a room? The Tom Drain room where they had like well Tom proper Tom tables. was an old boy from the White Dragon, right? Play snooker, and he would select people and then Joe Swell the thing. So I convinced my ma to get me like two lessons. Nobody had told me that Joe Swell was dead. I never knew. Could you understand him? It, it just was so off-putting. And <laughs> so he was, off-putting? Like, he was shouting at me. He was going, can you not fucking tell what you're doing wrong? And I was going, how the fuck are you? I, I just was like, I need to get out of here. And I didn't go back for a second last night. Oh, my God. It was that much of a shock to my system. that, And I was going, how is he a professional snooker player? Well, it's not like he doesn't need to hear He doesn't anything, need does to it? use his voice. And I was like, doesn't need to speak or hear him. I never heard him before. So oh, it was just, all I he was needs like, to be able to hear is the voice inside his really head saying, but I learned, knock see, us right out. Like snooker, I'm brilliant for the first 10 minutes. Do you get bored? I get, I just, I, my, my brain, mate. my brain goes, oh, I have that same issue. I, I, I have that one. Golf I, is the exact same. I would have it like, with any, like playing pool and all. I sit, I start playing pool. I actually get and this, this my bored. brain goes, this is shite. And then... And just fucking hit it. And when I used to have her, it used to... My wee, when my I wee, used to... My wee still No, but I mean, like, when I used to have my fringe, my wee baby, it, it, would, it would get into my eyes when I was playing. It used to really fuck me off. I, I, I get that. I'm from West Belfast. I get that. No, I get that. Like, but it's the same experience. Yeah. Must be amazing. Unbelievable. Thing. Well, here, mate, cheers for, uh, cheers for coming on. It's no been problem. a few times. Yes. Thanks very much. Thank you for Thanks for me. joining us here on No Blasters. Peace out. We'll see you later. Oh, no.